Alright guys, today I'm going to teach you how to remove a stock stereo from a 2012 Kia Soul. What you're going to need is a flat panel popping tool and also a Phillips screwdriver or a Phillips impact drill, anything that you have to remove the screws. It's a Phillips head. So what you're going to do first is come on this top piece right here and actually come in here with the wedge tool. Pop out the back end first. It's going to snap. After it snaps out, you want to pull out not lift from the front end because these actually have tabs on the front and you don't want to damage those so you remove that piece after removing that piece you're going to come to this horseshoe shaped bezel that runs all the way across you're going to come in here with your pry tool again and just work work your way around it so you're going to come up here and just gently pry on it all the way through this horseshoe shape to unsnap this piece this whole piece will come off right here. So I'm going to go through and actually unsnap that for you real quick. With some patience and a little bit of muscle but not too much this whole piece will pop off. You want to just have a firm grip but not enough to snap it. This will crack the bezel and you will be screwed. So make sure you get some good force. Pull off from the top. Make sure not to scratch any of this interior because it's going to look like shit if you do. So just take some patience. Take your time and just unclip it. Once it unclips this whole piece comes out just like this as one hole okay you don't want to break that piece it's going to be expensive so after we're done with that we're going to come in here with my impact and take out these screws there's four Phillips screws that are actually holding in these climate controls so I'm going to go ahead and take those out after you take out those screws set them aside in a safe spot and these climate controls just drop down now you just have four screws actually holding in a stock stereo Now, what you're going to do is just lift out, kind of give it a little shake, and it comes right out. And from there, what you want to do is just take off the connectors that are connecting uh, the stereo and also uh, these hazards and airbag lights. You want to make sure on the airbag, maybe call the manufacturer and see if the check engine or the airbag light will come on because of tampering and uh, disconnecting this. So you want to double check that before you disconnect it. I'm not unplugging anything. I'm actually just going to tap into the speaker signal in the back to um, hook up an aftermarket amplifier. So there you go. That's how you properly disassemble and remove the 2012 Kia Soul stock stereo. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.